Hello, everyone. This is George Rogorodnik with Zentech Consultants here in Brickshead, and today we're going to talk about sheet metal. So sheet metal designs are used in all sorts of different industries, which is why many CAD uh, systems have incorporated a sheet metal design suite, which uh, involves many uh, advanced specific sheet metal commands, such as flanges, hems, punches, all sorts of different features that are specifically designed to work with sheet metal. However, there's one fundamental problem, and that's design intent. Now, if you have started to model a part with sheet metal and you know 100% that that part is going to be of sheet metal construction, that's fine. But if you don't have that information, if you already have a part partially modeled and formed, and you suddenly realize that this needs to be a sheet metal part, it can be near impossible to convert that basic 3D model into a sheet metal part with sheet metal properties. So BrickSCAD solves this issue. Now in BrickSCAD, you can go ahead and start modeling from scratch in the sheet metal environment using flange by flange creation methods, or you can, take a design that's halfway done and convert it to sheet metal very simply. So here we have a basic 3D solid. It's of a somewhat uh, free form shape and we need to convert it to sheet metal because halfway through the design, we've realized that this must be a sheet metal part. So here's how easy it is to do this in BrickSCAD. So first I'm gonna remove the inside of this part by shelling it. Then I'm going to convert it to sheet metal using the convenient tool here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to automatically let BrickSCAD decide where to place the bends. Now that the bends are in place, I'm going to go around the model and choose which of these bends need to be junctions because, as you all know, in sheet metal with a 3D uh, part made from a single sheet, you can't just have all bends because this part will not unfold. So let's add our junctions. I'm gonna go around the entire model and figure out where those junctions need to go. And now that we have all of our junctions in place, we have a finished sheet metal part, which we can go ahead and unfold. And here it is. This is a finished sheet metal part that is ready to be fabricated, sent to production, and uh, used in a design. And it only took about a few minutes to take this design that was already created without having to reform and start from scratch. We have just converted this into a fully functional and working sheet metal part. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I'll hope you'll check out our website for more training and information on using BrickSCAD for your various technology needs. Thanks for watching.